Hi folks, John Richardson here. Happy New Year to you. Here we are down at the Lane County Fairgrounds doing the RV Palooza the first week. First day of snow here in Eugene, Oregon. Wanted to take a few moments while we're inside and show you this absolutely beautiful 235 uh, Apex made by Coachman. Now first thing I want to show you is we have a full front cap. Now the idea of a front cap is it gives you the aerodynamics so that when you're pulling the thing you're going to get better gas mileage. It also eliminates all the problems of leaks that we typically have right here on the front corner. You'll notice how beautiful it is. We got it plugged in so we've got LED lights. You're going to get an electric jack on it. Like I said, this is a 2016. It's a bunkhouse model. You know the familiar stuff about them. It has an electric awning. We have passed through storage here. And what I'd like to point out is this being an aluminum frame fiberglass trailer, notice how thick this door is. This is a one inch thick door. We call it the slam latch door. What, what's that mean? You let it go, it slams shut. How about that? Notice here, magnetic locks holds itself up. So like I said, we've got jacks on it. We've got electric awning. Very, very nice, very, very lightweight travel trailer. One of the things I want to point out about this trailer is it has Asdell, which is a composite panel that is made overseas in, in lieu of the Luon so that you don't have any moisture absorption between the walls. You get moisture absorption in the walls, you're going to notice one thing when you see the trailer going down the road where you have what we call DLAM, where the fiberglass, the moisture on the DLAM gets on there, the glue comes loose, and then you start having bubbles. That will never happen on the Apex. There's only one other brand, and they're quite a bit more money, that carries the Asdell, and that is the Lance. So we're talking about the Apex. Let's go in and take a look at it. First thing I'd like to point out is we got a very, very comfortable queen-size bed. God, I got a tough job here at the Lane County Fairgrounds. Snowing, I'm nice and cuddly in here. This is what you're going to be doing when you're camping. Should it be cold weather? Should it be warm weather? Nice walk around queen bed with storage underneath it. That way you and your significant other, they don't have to climb over each other. You'll notice that we've got storage up above the bed. We've got storage underneath the bed where you can put blankets, that type of thing. Take a look at that. The other thing I want to point out here is plywood. You don't have the OSB board that a lot of trailers do have. Much, much better quality using the plywood. Now you'll notice the cabinets up above. You got the fiberglass cap in the front, so you got a place to put books, hearing aids, glasses, all false teeth, all that stuff right up there before you crash out for the night. Now we come in here, this being a 23 foot travel trailer, I'll point out we have a TV that you can watch either from the bedroom or from the living room. We've got stereo, AM, FM, all the goodies in it, storage here underneath it. The other thing I want to talk about with this, this has Laminated sidewalls, laminated floor, laminated ceiling, rather than a trust ceiling. Now what's the difference? Take your hand, on a laminated, this is how they build all the motor homes. Look at this. That's not a trust roof. Don't do that on a trust roof, or guess what? You'll put your hand through the ceiling. Won't happen in here. The idea of this is, this is vacuum bonded, sidewalls, floor, ceiling. Think of yourself living inside a gigantic cooler, if you will. Maintains the heat in the, in the winter time, and it maintains the coolness in the summertime. Now here we have a very, very large booth. The nice thing about the booth is we got room if we turn this table around. Right now you can see 
there's no room. You got to be pretty skinny to sit on this side. But the idea of this turning the table around is we can sit and play games on a snowy day like today. We can also make this down into a bed. This will sleep two people comfortably. You'll notice the residential lighting, corner cabinets in it. You got, you know, backgammon board, which I've always invited people to come on in, play me a game, see if you can win. We could even play for a penny a point if you wanted to. So we've got jealousy windows. You'll notice we got a bull nose, a laminated countertop, and you'll notice that there's space around it. Everybody's looking for some counter space. They also like to have a big sink in it. Take a look at that. That's an unbreakable sink. It's not stainless. That's an acrylic plastic that won't break. You'll notice we have pull down faucet. You'll notice we got cabinets up above. And since we're inside the building and we got everything plugged in, look at the beauty of this thing when you when you get to looking at the indirect rope lighting up above it. I mean, this is just a very, very nice coach. You've got a microwave, three burner stove with an oven. You can cook pizzas, gray squirrels, as long as it's not real big. You can cook it just fine, cabinet underneath the sink three burner stove you have a Dometic refrigerator freezer on top refrigerator on the bottom and what I really like about it made in the USA you know Trump's talking about bringing jobs back to America let's keep the ones we got here so here we go more cabinets here storage cereal items like that to cook breakfast with and the other nice thing is we've got bunk beds in the back. And what I'd like to point out, rather than OSB board, this is all plywood. Take a look at the thickness of this cushion. You know how so many bunk beds, they got a cushion that's about that thick. Who the heck wants to sleep on that? I want something comfortable. By the way, this will hold 220 pounds up here, and it'll hold a whole lot more down on the bottom. And then, of course, we've got a cabinet underneath. You can get to it from either inside or outside to store stuff in. And then, the old throne room. Take a look at that. Nice big bathtub. The throne with leg room on it. You'll notice you've got a medicine cabinet in it, towel rack, toilet paper holder, all the goodies that you've come to expect. Now one of the things I like to tell everybody about us down here at the show, this is a show. We have everything specially priced. If you come in after the show, you might not be able to get the same price. I'll do everything I can. Everything comes with batteries, walkthroughs, we'll hook you up. There's nothing you don't need. We're even putting in an RV park for your pleasure. So I invite you to come down. Please remember, remember my name. The number's down here at the bottom somewhere. I can't see it right now. Just remember JR, the Harley guy. In case you didn't know that, there it is. Thanks a million for taking the time to watch us. Appreciate it.